What's up everybody, Alex here with another post-war pickup and a new mug. I've actually had this thing for a little while now, but I thought today would be a great day to spotlight it. This was a generous gift from my buddy and yours, Jesse, at ThinkBlue77. A while ago, Jesse offered to mock up a mug design for me, and he asked what cards I'd like to have featured on the mug. Well, you can tell where I went with this thing, a mix of iconic cards and my favorite commons from the 53 Bowman set. And of course, a recurring appearance of a particular horizontal card, as you can see. Anyway, coffee tastes much better coming out of this mug, so thanks again, Jesse. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, one of the best vintage collectors on YouTube. So the mug actually ties into today's pickup. They're coming in at a pretty good clip now after months of silence. We've got a 1953 Bowman. Hey, that's pretty exciting. I really miss picking up cards from this year, but of course this is a 53 Bowman black and white of legendary Yankees manager Casey Stengel. I knew about this card for a while, of course, but I think the first time it really jumped out at me was actually in one of Jesse's videos from a few years back. After that video, this card jumped onto my wish list, and so I'm really glad to finally add it. And I gotta say, it's really kind of cool to see Casey sitting here alongside some of his players from the 1953 Bowman set. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the old professor here. You know, nobody's terribly thrilled about the black and white Bowmans from 1953. And I'm right there with that sentiment, especially because no one has ever seen the original color photographs that were taken and used to make all these black and white cards from 53. Just imagine if all of these black and whites were actually the original color photographs as they were intended to be. I'd still be building this set for sure. This is great. Casey is one of baseball's most colorful personalities and also one of its ablest. I love the way that these things are written. But as for this particular card, I have to say I really like it in black and white. I think it really suits Casey Stangle. It suits the Yankees. It's just a great pose, a great image. And looking at Casey in black and white against all these color Bowman cards of the Yankees, I think really makes for a nice display. Okay, to wrap this up, I don't have any stats or stories about Casey, but what I do have is a short clip from just before Game 1 of the 1957 World Series between the Yankees and the Braves, where Casey's going to talk a little bit about who his starting battery is. And I love this kind of stuff because... As baseball fans, we're so used to hearing from our managers before and after the games, but how many of us have actually heard from Casey going through this kind of stuff? It's just a little bit of baseball day-to-day -day routine that's fun to experience from this legendary coach. Anyway, it worked out for Casey in Game 1, but of course those Milwaukee Braves went on to win the World Series. Hope you all enjoy. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Take care, and I'll talk to you all soon. Casey, you've had a chance to watch the boys work out a little bit today. Uh... Do you have a pretty good idea of your starting battery? Well, I have a fair uh, idea that the starting battery should be uh, Ford and uh, Bear behind the plate. Bear had an injured thumb, his thumb as well, and he had several home runs. Hit well the other day when I had him in the lineup in Boston, and I'd say he'll be the catcher, and I'd say that it should be Ford. The reason I say it should be Ford, he's a pitcher that I haven't pitched for about six or seven days we used him in batting practice as an experienced pitcher he's been successful in world series and he's a first class pitcher and if you go against a man like spawn of milwaukee that's a terrific pitcher we naturally have to put a first class pitcher against him i'd have to save the fourth